So guys, it's Buried Dead with our final Poncho Pikachu opening box. And today we've got the Pikachu Requaza Sky Tree box, which I'm pretty sure was a special box to commemorate the opening of the Sky Tree Pokemon Center. Correct me if I'm wrong. But here's the box. Again from a Poker Center loot. Just keep getting that wrong, it's just a get it in the wrong order and then you think about it too much and then you proper mess it up but there's the box top of the box like the other videos just some different boosters this time I saw on one of Unlisted Leafs videos he had legendary dream packets of first editions don't know why that is kind of confused the hell out of me when I watched it and there's the back of the box so we will dive straight into this like we did on the other videos you can see the two promos just in front and obviously the two Magic Cup ones which I bought as singles because the box was too much and I'm spending too much on cards to spend like a hundred pounds on two promos when I can get them for less than half that. <laughs> right, slide this off as always. Obviously different artwork just requires at this time. Very cool. Pop the top of this. Check that out. Yeah, we definitely don't have legendary dreams this time. If anyone knows why that is, hit me up in the comments because I have no idea. I've tried to research it, but I just don't know why he had legendary dream packets. I don't know whether he just switched them out to try to look a bit more impressive or whatnot. Who knows? Right, I'll cut the top of this promo and we'll go straight for that. I say promo, promos. Wow. We'll, we'll do one at a time. There is the first Pokemon, uh, Poncho Pikachu. And here is the second. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna like more. Probably was pushing towards the black, but then I like the background on the green. What do you guys reckon? Which one do you prefer? Let us know in the comments which one you prefer. I'm probably gonna go with that one and then the background on that one. It's, it's real hard to choose because they're both just absolutely incredible. I was gonna quickly sleeve them up because if I marked them, I would probably cry. Just stick. Oh. One and two. Then also we've got another pack of really cool sleeves. I just I don't know. I just don't feel like I could I could open them and use these. <laughs> They're just too cool. I just feel like I should save them for well forever. Absolutely incredible. Again, like I said, if you like the Poncho Pikachu sleeves, go check out what other Poncho Pikachus are in the range because there is a lot in the sleeves. And they're, well, on Poker Center, uh, Poker Center loot, all the other Poncho sleeves are sold out. You can't buy these in ones individually, obviously, you've got to get them in the box, but there is a lot of other choices. And then the good old deck box, which is Again, really cool. I think I like the back better on the Charizard ones. It looked a lot cooler with sort of the outline of the image. But again, that that's real cool. And this time we've got some slightly different booster packs. So we've got Emerald Break, Roaring Skies as normal. Probably open that one first this time. And then Cruel Traitor first edition and Explosive Fighter first edition. So, who knows, maybe we'll get Professor Sycamore first edition. That'll be absolutely incredible because basically we don't need to pull anything. This box is already absolutely amazing. So, don't know which way to open them. Probably get the Guard of All ones in the middle. We'll do the Royal Skies ones first. If we pull one EX, meh. I don't know, if you can't really complain if you don't pull anything. Especially with them two promos, absolutely incredible. 
just cut these packs open without slicing the top of the card. Could you imagine if I did that to like Professor Sycamore, took the bloody top off? I would straight up kick off. Last one. Right. We'll start off with Roaring Skies then. On to the front. Right, here we go. First pack, Roaring Skies. Oh, yes. That is absolutely incredible for a first pack. That is great. EX in the first pack. I love how, in, like, in the Japanese one, it has it in English, and then on the English, it obviously has it in Japanese. It's a real nice touch. So that is absolutely great. I mean, that just... You can't even... Can you get a bad box of these, considering you get the promos? I don't think you can get a bad box. But that is... That is a great start right there. So we'll stick that out of the way. And then we'll get on to these Steam Siege packs. There we go. And the, rack, the uh, advertisement cards. What we got on the back for this one? Yeah. Not really that interesting. Right. We've opened a lot of Steam Siege. So I should be able to get most of these. Probably not. Greedy Dice. No idea. Sneasel. Tangler. And Weevil, I think it is. Non hollow. So that's one pack of Steam Siege down. Steam Siege has been a disappointment in English for pulls. Probably say it's going to be the same in Japanese. <laughs> no, not really. It's a great set, but the pull rate was pretty shocking. Right, let's get through these. Non hollow again. Two to go. Should have saved that Roaring Skies for the last, like the other videos, really. Would have uh, made a nice end into it. Right. Exernius. Hollow. Very nice. I think this is like the fourth one we pulled. Such a nice card, though. Even in Japanese, it probably looks better in Japanese, I'd say, than the English set. Definitely looks better. It's just a shiny edge, it just makes it like that that much more special. I might even sleeve that. I just, I don't know, I just really like that card. Very nice. Well, we got one packet to go. Can we get any X? Who knows? We've already pulled one, so like I said, I'm I'm not first. Let's smash through these. Litlio, Clink. Ooh, cannot complain at that. A Clotzer break. Clotzer, is it Clotzer break? You guys will correct me. This is one of the cards I failed to pull in the booster box in English. Still, don't know. Does it look better in Japanese? Border adds it just some of that, that little bit extra. Never really a fan of the break cards. I've said it before. Full art and EX all day, every day. So let's just have a quick recap. Even though, I don't, where, where even to recap? We'll, we'll start with the Exunius. So we've got the Exunius Hollow, which looks very cool. We have the break again, very nice. We've got an EX, another sweet card, which tops off these two incredible cards. They are absolutely amazing. What what cards do you prefer? Let's pull these up. What are we saying? We're we going for Pikachu as Gyarados and Magikarp, Charizard, Mega Charizard X and Y, or Pikachu as Rayquaza. What do you guys reckon? 
let us know in the comments which which two you prefer or mix and match what's your what's your favorite two out of all six hopefully that makes a lot more of these cards because they look absolutely great anyway guys as always thanks for watching if you liked what you've seen hit us a subscribe or a like much thanks for anyone who's subscribed so far hit us some comments you've been absolutely great thanks for watching guys peace out